here in Coffeyville, Kansas, live from Veterans Memorial Stadium. My name is Dirk Andrews, Ryan Butcher alongside me. We just honored the sophomores from the Lady Ravens team. Now we're ready for some men's action against Cali County Tigers. This will be a fast game. This will be a physical game. Cali has only lost two games so far this season, Ryan Butcher, but their last game out was a defeat. So I'm interested to see how they react to that overall. Uh, a solid team. They score a lot of goals, but they just lost one. So where will their heads be, Ryan Butcher? I was wonder. that loss at home or away from them? Well, I'm not quite sure, but it was to Dodge City 1-0. Nice shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder contact there. Dodge City 1-0. I'm not quite sure if it was home or away, but, uh, you know, that team obviously 11-1, and lost to Dodge City last week. Obviously still a lot to play for, still a long portion of the season left for them. Uh, three games or so left in the regular postseason. But how will they react to that loss? A team that hadn't lost too many games all season, you never quite know how they'll come off of something like that. So we'll call out starting lineups as we see them. I know that's Taylor Buena because he's scorching already down the field. I see De La Fuente. I see Manu as well. So just to answer my own question from earlier, sorry to interrupt. Uh, that was a 1-0 loss at Dodge. Okay. And apparently, if this headline is to be believed on their own website, that was the first time they've been shut out all season. Again, I'm interested to see how this team reacts to that defeat and to being shut out. Uh, sometimes it can really light a fire under a team. Sometimes it can really just you know pile it on overall. But this is a solid team. Like I said, the record shows it. This is a shot on goal that ooh, just sails right over. Again, this is going to be fast. It's going to be physical. The general vicinity. Of I know goal. I always say that, and I'm not correct, <laughs> right? I'm not. I'm not correct. I should it say was in at, the same neighborhood goal. as where the goal is. I should is. stop saying on goal, at goal, toward goal, toward goal. Yeah, I was about to say because at and on feel like that's the same. Boo! Thing. If you didn't teach English, I would totally discredit you right now. But you do. True. 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 Yeah, I'm kind of like going through the results, <laughs> and uh, you know they're. Pretty good wins. Of course, you know, they did win against us away early in the season. I think that was a 4-0, to zero, if I'm not mistaken, which yeah. was a pretty uh, solid one. I think I watched that one on stream. Kelly's got a pretty good streaming uh I actually watched that setup. one as well. Yeah, and they do have a good stream. Yeah, I believe if it's the one I'm thinking of, it was one guy specifically. And when yes. I heard him complaining about um, a non-penalty kick call, I was like, ah, this guy gets me. <laughs> yeah, I remember watching that as well and being like, dang, this guy's really good. So got to up your game whenever you play Cali both ways. But so here is a quick throw in. Here is Cali making their way down. I know that we do have Matisse in goal. I know that we have Dice K out there. I know that Tristan is out there. Like I said, I know uh, Manu is out there. Uh, Mario. Looks like Taylor Buena. Looks like Kanush as well. Who else we got in back there? Um, pretty sure Diogo, number 22. Gome, she's out there. Oh, good play. Good defense. Okay, Nicholas Palmero. That's who we're missing. Number 24. That is the last one. It looks like he's playing left wing back. Yes, since we, uh, unfortunately, the last home game, one of our defenders, one of our best defenders, was injured during that game. And I hear he's doing okay. He just has to be careful on that angle for a while. So, Ayato? Yeah. Oh, man, that's a huge miss. Yeah, that's a huge void. That's a huge miss. This is a chance for Nicholas, though, to, like, really step up. Like, his totally team agree. needs him. You know, they need to see, like, what they can do, if they can turn this into a postseason against a tough opponent, a tough opponent for everyone that uh, beat them last time. I mean, he can make a difference in this. He's yeah. going to have to because apparently we find out by that game in Dodge City, they are mortal. They can be shut out. It can be a game where they do not score. It's just going to have to take a concentrated effort, a lot of focus. I think we had that in us tonight, uh, Ryan Butcher. Yes, indeed. I like that kind of run-up that he did on him, sort of like essentially uh, forced the sweeper to go back to his goalie there and then just backed off immediately. He's like, oh, I just wanted to kick it back. <laughs> I just wanted to put some fear into you. A little bit. So Paulo Diaz as well, number 21, he's out there. He leads the team with nine goals. Uh, De La Fuente has six. Manu has five. 
Uh, Ayato, the missing man tonight, we wish him well, has three. Mm -hmm. Dice K, three. Kanush with two. And seven others with one goal. Oh, that's a lot of contact there. Will it be and called? And it looks like he is signaling that that was... A call or just a throw-in? I think it's going to be a throw-in. Yeah, okay. so it came off of the Cali player. I wasn't 100% positive uh, either, but now we know. Either way, we keep possession. Paulo comes to get it. He receives a little bit of contact as well. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of that this game, I think. Yeah, you're right. The other day, uh, I had a really interesting conversation with uh, Mario De La Fuente and uh, Paulo uh, about soccer and about just American culture. And uh, he told me that he predicts in the next 30 years that – the USA will win a World Cup. And I said, well, I probably only got about 30 years left on this planet, so <laughs> I'm going to hold that to you. But uh, good ball from Cali there attacking. His, I love his optimism, though. Ooh, good way. job by Tristan. I will say Excellent. that as an as an elderly man at this point in my life, it feels. I remember soccer has been the uh, sport of the future in America Basically, your whole life. It, keep, it keeps feeling like it, any day now. It's yeah. gonna break through. Well, it was it was such it's a good conversation. It's definitely bigger than it was than when I was a kid, though. So at oh, least there is sure. that. Like yeah. nobody watched soccer when I was a kid, and I remember it being a big deal when uh, when we had the World Cup here in the '90s, and of course when the women's uh, team won the World Cup. That's also, true. Also yeah. in the '90s, it was kind of the combination of those two things that suddenly got a lot more regular people interested. Ball into the box. He was might he be able to get it. a. Keeps it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> he does <it. laughs> Close. Close. Well, and, you know, the thing I remember most uh, about that 94 World Cup was, man, just the Brazilians and just yes, their indeed. presence, you know what I mean, and just everything they did during that World Cup. And uh, Pasadena, 1994. Italy versus Brazil. Great game. Yeah, it was. Went into PKs at the end. And that, sky, that, that sky shot. Ugh. It's gutting. Even if it's not your team, I mean, when you see that happen, it's it's crazy. But, yeah, so Paulo Diaz tells me that in 30 years we're going to win a cup. So thank you for that. We'll but hold him to it. Yes. If we don't, I'm going to come up to him 30 years from now and tell him he owes me all the money. That's what I told him. So here's a, go <laughs> here's a goal kick from Matisse. He's looking for, I think, Diaz in the middle, to be quite honest yep, with you. Yeah, I think that, condu uh, rather th conduct, that contact is going to earn him a kick. Uh, he had contact in the front and in the back. Yeah, so yeah. Came from both places. He earned that one. I think Daisuke will take this one. Cali defense. Sprinting on it. It's going to go all the way back, perhaps. It's going to get it to Tristan. Who, Ooh, that's who, it's a good thing he yeah. was able to get a piece of the attacker there. Ooh, Otherwise, Montes. who knows? And Mo what a Montes good pass. far out of goal, so we're lucky that that went where he wanted it to as it goes moving it up. Drop it back to... Dice K. Oh, there's Owen uh, Barker. I can't believe we didn't call him out early. Oh, yeah. It's like whew, stone cold goalie right there. Not flustered at all. The keeper for the Cali women as well. She was not flustered at all. She was not afraid to use her skills uh, back there as far as, you know, totally going off her line, making plays, making passes. That, that's what goalies have to do these days. You can't just sit back and goal. You got to be a sweeper keeper. It's interesting. Could have been a dangerous ball oh, called out though oh, by Coffeeville. Late contact there. Yeah. He may throw his hands up, but I mean, I think he's oh, he's even trying. He's even trying to tell him. He's like, hey man, I saw that. You sold it, and you got to be careful though. We're only. <laughs> Only eight and a half minutes into this game. Yeah, we got to keep our cool for yeah, as long we as we saw, can. We saw what happened during the women's game with two yellow cards accumulating into a red card in the second half. Cali oh, just kind of messing almost, around in the back almost, a little bit. Almost, really. but still might have a second chance. Yeah, there's a lot of Coffeeville players still up. Could receive this. Uh Wayne just letting it play ahead of him. He's just stretching to Golly. get every piece of that. Ooh, okay. Not a call there. Referee says call. continue. Wayne is still on it. Thought we might get a call there, but maybe, but did not happen. As good as he is, is uh, getting fouls called for him. Not this time. Turn and they're gonna try to. I had a runner on his left hand side. Didn't choose that one. Eh, just going out for a pleasant jog. Runner into the box, played out. Paulo plays it. I think that's Owen Barker giving chase. It's going to go all the 
way back to the or goalie. No, sorry, that was number 11, uh, De La Fuente, giving chase. Long ball sent down. Matisse having to make a decision, and he does. Full stretch. Oh. What do we have there? Was that outside the box, that contact that brought him down? We're going to see a yellow card, perhaps. To who? For who? I believe that was against number 24, if I'm not mistaken. Kind of hard to see. I'm waiting for him to turn around. Okay, okay. I, I, I get what you're saying there. So contact outside the box before Matisse had to yes. uh, make that diving stretch, or that stretch out uh no, no. Uh, uh, Diving stretch. <laughs> You're right. Even, I, was, I meant save, though. But it, it, didn't up, it didn't end up being a save. It ended up being a foul outside the box in a pretty dangerous area for Cali as well. They've got a left-footed player over this one. This presents a tricky situation for Coffeyville. You want to prevent that shot on goal, but you also are you know, looking for that back post. So that ball just placed right in there for the forehead of a Cali player. Still some discussion, still some lining up, but here we go. I think he's going to go right to goal, Ryan Butcher. It looks like it. Ooh, Ooh he does, but that is off. off the American football crossbar and out. Hey, speaking of the uh, American soccer quote okay. tradition we talked about earlier, I did appreciate when you were doing the, uh, the send-off of the sophomores for the girls. You did. You, you did call them the women's uh, football team, which I was like, yes. Oh, I did? You didn't even realize that you were doing it, did you? Nice. I was wondering when I heard that. It's good to hear, though. Oh, yeah, they know what I'm saying. Although, again, speaking as an American, I just use them interchangeably because, you know. That's true. That's true. I will never get into the whole you have to call it this. Like, I'll call it whatever I want. And, hey, as long as the person knows what I'm talking about, it's fine. It's really all that matters, yeah. It's a it's a cultural thing almost too, and you got to just know what be aware seems to of who you're talking irritate, to. irritate though some people is when you call American is when you say American football, they do give you a look sometimes. <laughs> like it's like like we owned it first. <laughs> it's yeah. like it's like no, that's oh, no, that's just football. It's Whoa, like, hold on. No, I think it's American football actually. I mean, that's not even the same uh, football they play in Canada, right? Like there's changes to it. That's true. Yeah, Australian rules as well. Yeah, if anything, that's e that's even. Ooh, oh, that's a high boot. That's a really high boot. I, I love how he. Didn't even really He tried flinch. to sell it, though. Look, he tried <laughs> to sell it, but, boy, that was a dangerous uh, angle of his. Man. Yeah, that's crazy. He's got ice in his veins. That boot came, like, right up close to his head and didn't even, like, feel like he wanted to stop play for even a second. He's kept going. Yeah, Manu Nunez, oh. he ain't having it. God, I need to mark down these things here. So we've got a yellow carded player here. Tristan tries a hopefully, long pass, but hopefully it's Hopefully the out. only card we see. Do I think that's how it's going to go down? Not really. <laughs> no. Ball is out and over to Cali for a throw in. Oh, actually, we'll have a free kick here. You know, Cali content to just kind of play catch in the back until they sense the Red Raven defense shifting a little bit, then they make their move. I I get that strategy, but I'd like to see Caulfield apply a little more pressure. Yeah, and I can kind of see, like, their shape, how they were kind of keeping a lot of men outside the box, just, like, from all angles. They had one, two, three, four, five players up as options to sort of play that one around. I can kind of see how they've scored most of their goals this season, you know, because that sort of strategy works. Some really good passes. Sure. Just drop, just drop one into the box, and someone can easily run onto it. We'll see if that's how they're able to do it tonight. Because maybe from the dodge win against them, there is always the possibility that eventually teams are going to watch enough of those videos and start to see it and start to like prepare for it. That is so true. Here's what we can hope for. The goalie's going to have to take that one first time. Is it flies off there? Yeah, ball sent down long. Uh, Mario was trying to get on the end of it. He at least applied the pressure. That made the goalkeeper kick it out of bounds and over to Coffeyville. And Tristan's going to drop it back to Matisse there, who's going to take his time picking out his uh, perfect target. 
Tries for Gomez over on the far side, but Manu will get to this one, I think. Is oh, that, uh, no. Kanushi was fighting for that one? Yes, that was him. Number seven over there. Yep, 7, 10, 11, 23, 10. He said 10 twice. It's the winning numbers. <laughs> <laughs> it, is he there twice because, you know, he's just that good? I'm going back to that weird <laughs> quote I made about Rosa in the first game. I don't know what I'm talking I about. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. I did. I thought that Manu had been injured not that long ago, but I guess he's uh, back on the field. Is he feeling better now? Must be. Again, sometimes it's hard to keep track. I mean, if you asked me to list every single player that I've had a conversation with who, for whatever reason, had been injured playing sports, I mean, it's just that's just so common. Like playing usually very non-serious ones, but enough to keep them off the field for a little while for whichever sport. Yeah, and sometimes you'll see them in a boot during the week, but it's more preventative, preventative or, you know, something like yeah. that. Oh, a lot of contact. Sorry, and I think he's going to earn a free kick for that. Yeah, ran up the back of him there. So this will be a throw-in for – no, that will be a free kick. That's right, foul called on Cali. 30 minutes still left in this one, so about 15 minutes gone. Canoes tries. Almost. Yeah. Almost. Good display there for the Cali bench. Just let them know what we can do. <laughs> Canoes is actually one of the leaders in assists this year. He has three. Mario has four. Diaz has three. Some others with two as well. All the Smart way back to the yeah. Battle on that far side. It's Goodness go gracious. To yeah. We'll take that throw in. Like that sort of aggressive play. Now, Cali, it's got a lot of options there. They've been also pretty content to play out of the back. You're right. Yeah, they are not afraid to do so. Uh, this is an 11-2 and two team. They have won. They know how to win. They know the formula. They're confident as well. Still nothing too, uh, nothing too challenging. There was one that looked like it could be dangerous, ended up going a bit high. Uh, yeah, uh, well, we, one... we, we just finished saying all these complimentary Ooh. things, and he was able to really uh, show some athleticism to uh, pull that one out, except he didn't. No, it's I a throw he in. kept that no, one he in. Didn't. I thought he did. What but... a pass. <laughs> A pass to where his teammate was uh, 10 seconds ago. And, yes, the referee's going to say, hey, come on, guys. Let's not do that. Pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> so here's a throw in. Man, orange shirts all around. Paulo trying to make sense of it. Ooh, good ball there to the middle. Could start something for Cali. I figured they'd transition that quicker, but... Got Caulfield scrambling to pick that up in the midfield, but now it's looking into a full-blown attack here. Good step up there from Dice K. What a wonderful job. How far is that going to go back? All the way back. Is he going to hit Shiki on the cart? Oh, I thought he was going to get Shiki on the cart. <laughs> That'd be a tragedy. <laughs> Good turn. I think that came off of Tristan, yeah, maybe? it did. It came off of no. Red Raven, I think. No, well, no, guess not. I thought it did. It looked like it uh, changed direction there. It Definitely looked like it changed direction, but the man in the purple says no. Maybe it was a gopher. Possibly. Now we're talking Caddyshack? Yeah, basically. And why can't a gopher live on artificial turf? Probably had worse. So foul in the midfield. Coffeeville trying to play it quickly. They will, but no, man. Almost had him. I think that was Mario number 11 up oh, top. That's a sweet little move right there. But not able to get it far away. Has to go back to his own goalie. I like this pressure. Keep it up. Keep it up. Coffinville back line continuing to drop, waiting for this. Ball out, and where will that go? Well, stay with the Cali Tigers, Ryan Butcher. We do have a man down at the moment. Looks like it's Owen Barker. Good to see him able to get up, limping just a bit. Yeah, heading in the direction of the bench, but I don't know if he's being subbed <laughs> on or off. I'm not quite sure either. 
Maybe just getting some consultation. You know, well, looks like it will definitely be uh, subbed here. Yeah, and he, I think he knows what the problem is. He's on the bench, and he's like he might be taking off a boot, or he's certain he's not fit to play. We will get a sub here. Well, you got to trust your own body when it tells you that uh, you need to take a break. That's true. So you got uh, Taylor's being pulled to the far side here, and in his position. Yeah, it looks like it'll be uh, Carlos. Yep, number 16. Who's seen a lot of action this year. So someone coming off the bench with a lot of time, trusted. Kind of, kind of made that pop in my ear when you dropped your. I'm sorry about that. Like that. I was having to adjust my hat there. <laughs> very, very important. You got to adjust your hat. Put on your rally cap. That's what it is. Got major... Oh, is he outside? Oh, I think ball. he is. I that's think he good... is. Is he gonna take it around? <laughs> oh, oh, but was it? No, referee he was outside. called outside. Oh. It's a late offside call. I watched for it. I didn't see it. He uh, did eventually put his uh, flag up. He's. <laughs> I like the way he's pointing toward the offside flag, though, because the Coffeyville players were asking about a touch outside the box, right? Right. From the and goalkeeper, but obviously it, it it's nullifies like the... When I saw the play happen, you um, you immediately look at the linesman, and he didn't have his flag up that very second, and then I'm looking at nothing else but that possible one-on-one -on, -one well, on the goalie. And as the Coffeyville players were <laughs> arguing, he was pointing toward the guy. Matisse comes out. Oh, it has to happen. Wow. That was... Three players going to have trouble getting up in that one. But Matisse looks like he might be all right. Cali player. Oh, man. Well, while they're doing that, I'll be uh, – I think maybe we should also take a short break. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take a short break uh, as the injuries get sorted out. We'll come back whenever uh, we have action back on the pitch. So thankfully, folks, Matisse is up and on his feet. He will be taking this goal kick. Uh, you hate to see players go down. Oh, there's a lot of contact. Speaking of players going down, my goodness. Yeah, some protests there saying, hey, that was a, that was a, bit, <laughs> it's a bit much. I like the bow there, a little bit of bowing and scraping for number three in Cali. Maybe exaggerated, perhaps, not to, you know, interpret anything. He's saying that the Coffeyville player stopped short. However, he did ride up his back quite a bit. There was quite a bit of uh, of contact. So this is a free kick for Coffeyville into the box. Good opportunity here if you can turn with it. 
Paulo. Oh, he was able to get contact on it, just wasn't able to bring it down. A good bit of action for Coffeyville there. Hadn't really troubled the Cali keeper all night. Let's see, Cali is again playing it out of the back. Have yeah. a lot of options, playing it nice and slowly and deliberately. Try to draw Coffeyville into attacking them, I think. Coffeyville staying disciplined. I'd like to see that. Yeah, they'll kind of move in, move back into position, just enough to uh, see if they can just like, I don't know, just maybe pick someone's pocket real fast. Exactly, but. take it the other way. Pre uh, pressure applied. And it was a miss hit there, but then it was also miss hit by number 21, Pablo Diaz. That's a good find by Cali. Another good find. I think Tristan's going to be wise to that one. Just knocks it out for a throw in. A couple of clever passes, though, from Cali right there. Oh, yeah. Almost up just and that, up the Raven just defense. That, just, just that one kind of sloppy one, but they were able to get it back quickly. Throw in for Cali in Coffeyville's defensive third. It's a good move, but will not be. Oh, man. Yeah, Second there's one. another. I mean, those sorts of plays, I, I cringe whenever, you, you know, you see them happening. Matisse, as any goalie has to do, just totally putting his body on the line. His face even, you know, as well uh, on a play like that. It's the goalkeeper's right to be able to go down and get that ball. We, we've seen so many calls. You know, four keepers. I wonder what they're discussing down there now. Maybe a lack of a call they feel or just, hey, you, you need to watch this next time. Yeah, because there is the possibility of a uh, play. Oh, sorry, I just now noticed there's a car just watching from the road. Perfect. Just parked out there. Just, you know, just enjoying it. They do know the gate's open, right? They could come on in if they'd like. <laughs> they could just park and just walk right in. It's nice I, down there. I like that aspect of the field, though, as far as you can view from – uh, different points as oh. this one. He's, fight, he's fighting to keep it there. But Good job by Carlos yeah. to, to do exactly that. Ferebas, number 16. Good job by him to win that one. Looks like Manu. Is that Manu over that one, number 10? I believe so. It's about everyone's going up now. That is true. One, two, three, four, five, six orange shirts. Good ball. Just to the outside of the 18 on the far side, but. Trying to find Buena. Yeah, I wasn't able to get back to it. It was uh, well covered by a uh, Cali defender there. So they called contact. Did you see that? There was a free kick, so they called contact over there on that far side. Oh, really? Yeah. Against, against it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. Must have happened off the ball because I didn't see anything on the ball that would have been that. But then again, you know, maybe we just got caught ball watching his. Whew, take that one quick. No hesitation there. So, Ryan, it is, it is really interesting. I, I'm kind of picking up on what you were saying earlier. They like to just kind of play catch in the back, you know, a little bit, kind of work it around. And then when they find that moment, man, they just pounce and yeah. they go quickly. That's interesting. Great word choice there, too, all things considered. Pounce. Yeah. Yeah, He, they just kind of lull you to sleep almost, you know, and then they just. No, it's the lion that sleeps tonight, not tigers. In the jungle, the mighty jungle? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, just one. Too much. <laughs> one, yeah. uh, just one touch too many, yeah. You can get away with one, maybe two, not three. Not three, as Diaz learns. Cali probing. Tristan, good job there to step up. Had to happen. He's able to force Cali to reset and try again. Cali with the wind at their backs here. Those little passes do wonders for their pass accuracy. That's how I do it on FIFA as well. True. Are they wearing uh, the little heart monitors and everything? Have people doing like the little clicks? on the thing for every single pass that goes through. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> yeah, if you've, if you've ever seen the video of the BTS for that, it's just like, oh, my God. <laughs> it's like, of all the jobs to have. Oh, I know, right? Throw in for coffee, Bill. Like, Cali all like, over it, though. It's like, kind of just like, I don't know, clean like clean the locker room or something. That would be <laughs> less, <laughs> less monotonous as Cali's got a breakaway. Plays it centrally. 
Nice. He's able to skirt around. He's got five players up, but in the oh, looks like Knush took a took a hit there. And goes that was down. a yeah. That was that was a tough one to take there. So he goes down. About 19 minutes left to go uh, in this first half. So there a Cali substitution during all that? I don't think he wanted to allow for it. But, yes, there was. There is. It looked like the ref was kind of confused. But number five for Cali does come in. Yeah, so Kanush is just, oh, okay, he might have got. Yeah, in that, mid, yep. in that midsection area, I think he got hit in that midsection area. I think so, too. It's going to slow anyone down for a minute or two. That is true, but he's up. Good to see that, honestly. Throw in for Cali. The newly arrived number five for Cali Ooh. is in. He's able to keep it going out for a corner kick there. Cali's going to receive it. Possession numbers would probably be about 60-40, you think, 70-30? Yeah, I think 65-35. Let's put yeah. it there. <laughs> Split the difference. Let's do it. Throw in for Cali. I would have to give them the advantage as far as the better team this half, but really, I mean, it's been pretty even. It's been a slugfest overall. And going to bring that one back for a free kick. I think you're right. And I think they know how to, you know, more or less professionally, right, Sportingly, they know how to prevent the uh, the, breakaway. the breakaway as well. Yeah, like just, that's an example right there. You know, whenever Caulfield does now, sniff a little bit of green, they, it's, it's taken out. They're high, and they're sort of high pressing there for a second, like thinking maybe this could be one of those pounces you were talking about. And a little scooping it up there off the shoulder. Ooh, good job by Kept Diogo. Control. Yes, what great footwork. Gonna send it straight up, aiming for Mario. I really enjoy watching Mario up top. Good ball. Paulo plays it out to, I think that's Buena. Yep, definitely. Let's take some contact there. Yeah, he took a shot. He doesn't try to protest or anything, just keeps playing. I like that kind of player. Cali moving over to the near side of the field. They head right back. Yeah, they'll play this little, you know, game of catch and Trying to make their next move, plot their next move. And there it is. It's a runner. Tristan. Yeah, oh, I think no problem. Really, yeah. But yeah, you were talking about FIFA earlier, pass completion and all that. <laughs> I played FIFA online multiplayer once. I guess how the scoreline looked by the end of that one. S say that again. You say multiplayer? As in, like, I played someone over over multiplayer once. Not like someone, just like a friend or someone. Just like, oh, side okay. Side. Okay. Yeah. And uh, didn't go great. <laughs> and that's the last time I played that one. That's interesting. I had fun making my ultimate team just because, you know, it was fun to, like, make a team. Oh, but yeah. For sure. I only ever played people, like, sitting on a couch next to each other. That was oh, really okay. More fun. Okay. Yeah. Well, and I mean, I hate to give away both of our ages here, but we came from an era where, I mean, online didn't exist, you Couch know? Couch play, yeah. So when it first came about, I was a little skeptical. I really was, you know, but... Well, it was always dependent on if you had someone who even had a good internet connection he was going to play him on. Oh, that, that's a really good to, point. Yeah, nice job. He had to stop his run there for second smart choice. Oh, Looks whoa! Like oh, that, okay. that could have been a bad deflection there. But I was the wondering. Goalie was ready for it. Wow. But yeah, those... Those were the days, right? But um, a friend brought over uh, brought over Mario Party the other time. We all four played in the same room together. I was like, ah, this feels right. Yeah, I agree. Even that, you know, for the first time, it was pretty mind blowing stuff. Yes, indeed. Just I do I do play with friends. Actually, there's a friend of mine from my hometown that you know played like Stardew Valley or something with, just working on the same little farm, chatting over Discord or something. That's still that's still feels nice. You're, you're exactly right about that. As that ball goes long. All the Stardew Valley heads in the comments tell me who's your favorite uh, character to marry. <laughs> Let's know about it. I, 
so I'm talking about video games in my intro to mass communication class, and we talked about the social aspects of it. But, you know, my friends and I, we've, we've fought sometimes over uh, video games as well. Oh, yeah. It could bring you together. It could pull you apart. Too. Even mentioning Mario Party, like, <laughs> that's a fighting game, which is why I was a little skeptical. But they actually had some co-op games in there, which I thought was really fun. You know, I was like, okay, so we're all working together mm-hmm. to to like get to a goal that feels nicer to me so contact in the midfield will bring this ball back for Coffeyville or for uh, Cali I'm sorry foul on Coffeyville ah the first time you messed it up Cali Coffeyville same thing right thanks for pointing that out man (laughs) (laughs) you know actually uh, normally would be about to go to Cali for the snowball for quiz bowl but this time I think the snowballs the snowball is going to be hosted by Garden City I don't know if we'll go to Cali later in the spring for a tournament I guess we'll find out it was always nice. It was a pretty short drive here. It's only like, a, what, like an hour and a half or so? It's about that. And Arc City also has a Taco Tico. They do have a Taco Tico. Which is exquisite fine dining <laughs> on the highest level. Yes. And I, I say that with, like, complete sincerity as Cali works say, his ball nobody's around. Nobody's joking around here. There's no. nobody smiling. Taco oh, that Tico was a good so ball. Good. So if he's going to able to... Good block. Crucial good block. stop. Crucial stop. But now he's able to get it back. On his left foot, too. Oh, forces, what a save. Forces Matisse into an acrobatic save there. That player was always wanting to get it on his left foot. He finally did and put a pretty good Coffee shot in there. a chance to counterattack. He's got some space in front of him, and he's going to send it all the way back. Forcing Man, the goalie. that goalie is out. I would love to see us be able to take advantage of that Is that coming from across position? the field, or is that the crowd right now? Did you hear that? I just heard a... <laughs> it was inaudible, but I did, you know. Fair enough. I felt it. Throw in for Coffeeville. A chilly night outside, but a pretty solid crowd. Yes, indeed. Also, I'm seeing my notes on here because I think I wrote on this during the last home game. And I've got uh, a one, two, three, four yellow cards for the men's team last game. So far, uh, looking pretty good. Uh, just one yellow, or no, no five. Oh, yep, five over there. So first half action. You know we have it. We're zero zero. Let it be zero zero late into the second, and I bet the the temper start to oh yeah to be uh st- temper start to flare. It's a good ball. Good ball by Kanush there, and just tries to send oh, it Oh, nice in. find. Second touch. Ooh, oh, well defended, but still not done yet. Cuts it in. Left foot. Uh, cuts it back. Right foot. <laughs> tries to cut it through, and this time. Get sniffed out. Close one there, though. Good it was by the defender. A lot of action there. You'd love to see that as a Red Raven fan. Yes, indeed. You know what I'd love is uh, another bite at the cherry here. That would be good, and I think it will come from those balls over top. It will be able. Uh, it will come from using Mario's speed up top as well. Oh, he almost did it. I love that. That's what he's been doing all night. He's, like, mm-hmm. been acting like he's backing off, and then they make that pass, and he runs in, hoping to see if he can, like, poach something from it. Clever. And then just, you know, just backs off. He's not going to use all his energy if he did, you know, if he knows he can't. Cali probing. Ooh, good chance for them here. Nope. Good cut out there from Daisuke. Yep, Daisuke was ready for it. Throw in for Cali deep in... Red Raven territory. Man, the, crowd, the crowd's going nuts down there. I hear Whistles that? and whatnot. Yeah, it's it's hype. Yeah, it's, the suspense is killing us in this 11 minutes and 40 seconds waiting for this throw in. So there we go. The first like 30 minutes of the half flew by. These last 10 will just man. It's going to be action packed. Yep. We don't know if it's going to end zero to zero. For this first half, we'll see. It's Tristan knocks it forward. It's really well played there with that header. Going to take the shot from, and it's good from a certain perspective. <laughs> They've got a couple of left-footed players that, that yeah. are really trying to get on their, you know, and, and they make those moves to the inside. It's, it's dangerous. Calling Matisse out, but that one is not on goal. It was not even at goal. But like Ryan Butcher told me earlier, it was toward goal. It was in the neighborhood of the goal. <laughs> Matisse Not puts this one up. quite the neighbor of the goal as brings him down there. He's going to opt to take it quick. Oh, come on, He's man. He's going Let's... to attempt to take it quickly. And 
What, hey, so what's the is it is it just the prerogative of the referee more or less? I mean, sometimes they'll let you take it quickly, sometimes they won't. Well, I, I don't get it. Sometimes like if the ball hasn't completely stopped moving, you'll see him bring it back. Sometimes if like maybe the referee was making a note of something. Okay, and back. I get those times, but what if they're just? I wasn't sure why it why it specifically happened that time okay. though, because I was busy watching him take it quickly and I was getting all excited, but <laughs> uh, unfortunately no. Throw in for Cali. Ten minutes left, so 35 minutes gone in this first half. 0-0 score line. Plenty of action, but no goals so far. Dice K will win that foul. Jeez, listen to the cheers over there. Cali, I think, brought some fans with them as well. <laughs> I mean, they, so? they, they travel okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, in fact, I can see him. You can see him, too, if you oh, glance okay. down. This is a whole crowd. Well, and, you know, when your team's 11-2 and two on the year, you know, looking to really make an impact in the tournament and even, even the national tournament, and, you're going to okay. get some Oh, he's got fans. Magic Spray. I Love noticed it. that on, uh, on the other end. Yeah, Magic Spray. Huh, how did I miss that the first time? We should ask him if we can He was running spray. over to the – I thought he was running over to the Cali player was on the ground like he's going to pull out a card. Then he pulled out the magic spray, so you love to see it. What a spot, too, for a free kick. Oh, was he going to go chat with the – oh, man. What if the Cali coach gets the yellow? What a change in fortune from the <laughs> – <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. This is uh. I mean, generally, generally you'll get one warning at least. That's I, true. I wonder yeah. if uh, – if he said something in particular, or I would like for the head referee to be mic'd up, and that feed goes directly <sighs> into our ears, so what we can I, hear what I wouldn't give. I would, okay, that would be really cool. I have to ask you: Would you accept that if you absolutely could not talk about anything you heard? Would you rather not know, oh. or would you rather know and be able to say nothing? It would be hard to have that insight. And you're right, like, right, right. I think I think I prefer ignorance than you know knowing and not being true. able to share it. Yeah, that's I'm just a, the teacher in me. You know, I want to share. I'm kind of a blabbermouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. So better uh, more magic spray. There we go. Okay, so this referee is a pro. You see how fast he uh, threw that down. That student athlete wasn't quite <laughs> sure what to do with the magic spray, but I don't. I don't remember seeing a lot of that this season. I wonder if you got to shell out for that yourself as he uh, taps it into the back. Oh, Dice K's head yeah, almost got to it. Didn't quite redirect it, though, as it goes deep towards the midfield. He's going to try to hold that up for his players. He's got a racing runner. onto it. Good ball there. He's got someone open on the far side, and thank goodness. And that's Diogo Gomes who had to do yeah, Just had the to job. slow it down a second. You see that player was wide open. Yeah, Anything within like 15 yards of him he could have run on to and done something with. So, Ma Ma Matisse had one eye on the play and one eye on that player yes, indeed. running down the middle of the field. Less than 10 minutes left to go. About uh, 8 minutes left. Looks like Catley's okay to... Uh, Slow things down a little bit here with this last nine minutes or so. Oh, wow. I like that. Be a little crane kick there. Dang, and there he is coming back to it. Good energy from Kanush there. Oh, wow. I thought maybe he could run with that one, but Cali retains possession. Good ball. Oh. Really good ball and a good dummy there to let that one play through. That was dangerous. That was clever, very clever. Uh, I don't know if we deflected it or if it was the Cali player, but a toe to that ball threw it off yeah. just a little bit. And gave another toe on that ball could have been a uh, could have been a goal. Just like just redirect it. Exactly. Good header there from Dice K. Whew. Man, cool under pressure there. That was close for them. And Coffeyville is uh, playing cautiously, I'd say, which is maybe fair considering the circumstances. That's true. He's got a player open on back. He'll have a second to take a few touches, consider his options. Left foot. Left foot again. Ooh. Ooh hoo -hoo. He's going to want that one back. Had a player coming from the midfield somewhat yeah. deep. Running unmarked. straight on it. The key is just trying to get over the top of it. As 
thought for some reason they were looking for substitution, but no, that is the coach. He is pretending to be 12th man on the field over there. <laughs> Kelly going forward off the head of Dice K and out for a corner kick. Six minutes left in this first half. Like I said, the first 30 or so minutes went by so fast. These last 11 or so have just drug man. and drug. It's so a watch tea kettle, man. It just time starts to dilate, slow down. So corner here with the wind. Yeah, because I think what we're both feeling is Callie's been hunting for an opportunity. And that could that that could happen in you're these right. last few minutes. Yeah, you're right. Here's the ball in. Oh, for a butcher, second, my I was stomach about to dropped. Say, I can't believe it that I that I that I put that out in the world. My stomach <laughs> absolutely <laughs> dropped right there, man. Dang. Well, and you're right. I mean, this 0-0 score line, both of I are just we are we are both aware that it just won't hold. Right. But I mean, I can see Coffeeville also being the one to break the deadlock here. Oh yeah, for sure. Ke Kelly's had the bulk of possession, and also the bulk of fouls called against them. I'm seeing yeah. that one again. If I, I'm, I'm not keeping a strict tally of fouls, I'm just going by vibes. But I'm pretty sure that's right. Just going by vibes. I'm just going by vibes. <laughs> Good vibes only, though. Oh man. How about beach vibes? I've, I've seen that on a T-shirt as well. I've been to the beach uh, like one time in my entire life. Well, what are, what are you doing? Water's way too salty, man. <laughs> You're right. Headed up into the air. Ooh, back down by. Is that Kanush again? I think it was. Wow, he's all over the place, huh? Yeah, he As really is. is. Off of a Caulfield player's hand, so Cali gets the free kick this time. Goes to send it back to their goalie. Yeah, and I think that Carlos, I think that was Carlos that had the handball. Didn't, wasn't like intentional, but just the way the ball uh, deflected and just, you know, found himself in the air. Wrong place, wrong time. Well, the wrong place was his hand specifically. Yeah, I was about to say, I was going to be shocked if that one didn't get brought back. Under five. Ooh, that was a little borderline there. You can see there's uh, some players kind of pointing to the referee. The ref actually was not looking when he did that. Did you probably see that? Probably lucky. Yeah, well, probably no, lucky no. he wasn't. I think he was watching that. I'm going to give that player some credit for being sneaky. Like maybe the second the ref turned his back, he did just – just the barest amount that the linesman's not going to call the referee over. It's not that big a deal. Yeah. It's just, you know, sometimes it's a game of seconds. That's true. All the way back to the keeper here. And, he, and if he's watching this later, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you can't get that past us. Be. All right. Once again, this has kind of been how we've seen most of this half play out in this exact way. Yep. It's a long ball there. Matisse is probably going to have to stretch for it. Well, no, not even. He's going to have to jog, jog lightly for it. Yeah, Cali doesn't look to fool you. I mean, they know that you know what they're doing, but can you stop it? That's the question. Uh, they gave him a lot of space. I, I was wondering, <laughs> like, what happened? They give you that space, might as well take it. True. <laughs> Good step up to there. Get a piece of that. Ah, it just doesn't fall quite the way he would have liked it to. There's a cluster of Red Ravens there hoping to get that. So they have to get their shape back now. Oh, contact there. Yeah, Kanusha on that one. He's up quickly. Good job by Tristan just to get that one out. Runner, he had to take care of. Didn't quite know what was behind him, so when in doubt, kick it out. Yes, indeed, with just under three minutes now. It's getting there. It's getting there. Slowly but surely as, ah, yeah, okay, so he sold it. He won it. It'll be a free kick for Cali in a very dangerous position. Looks like Buena and Kanush will make up this two-man wall. Diogo Gomes will make his way back uh, into the box. A right-footed player will be putting this into the area for Cali. How far will he go? He'll go right on to goal. Oh, oh man. 
I think that might have been better if you hadn't touched it. Yeah, and so I was just going to ask. I mean, cause Oh, no, I think that came off, uh, came off of Coffeeville. I wasn't positive. Yes, but yes, yes, it did, yeah. Because Matisse is kind of saying, hey, you know, thanks for your help there. But if that would have went all <laughs> the way through, say. he might have been able just to catch it. And, but you can't really fault a player for trying. But this ends up being a corner kick for Cali, left-footed player. Ah, it's going long. No worries. We got some good. We we have some co-commentators up in the booth right now. <laughs> hey, tell it, tell no, it like I it is. I think they're right. I think they're right. Tell it like it is. We need to get more people on here. Just turn it into one of those ESPN roundtable things. You know, almost like a Manning cast. Yeah, I don't know if yeah. you've seen that or not, but like Peyton <laughs> and Eli had their own little cast. Yeah, we could do something oh, like that. Oh man, can you? Can you even imagine, right? As, oh, where's that going to fall? He's going to try to head it back. He It'll is going to try to head up. it back, but that's going to oh. Ooh. Woo. So close. He almost got to that. I was like, man, this is a dangerous, like, that, like, the way that was hung up right there, that's always going to be hard to head back with any power. You're right. And for how far away he was, that was close. Oh, I give credit to the goalie for staying on his feet there, though. Yeah. Uh, and Taylor almost, almost got that away from him. He got some contact on it, but it fell to uh, the goalie's. Uh, preferred side, let's say, as we are under a minute left to go here. And one time time left for another attack by Cali, even in the way they've been doing it, you know. Slow and steady. We'll see. Yeah, and I mean, 45 seconds doesn't seem like a lot of time, but they can get a lot accomplished in that amount of time there. Yeah, plus you have to feel like if they burn that extra time, the last attack can only be theirs. Coffeeville can't retaliate this That's half. true. Yeah, that's true. So defense probably all the way here. And got to be careful not to make any bad fouls. Caulfield gets away with it. 18 seconds left to go. And ah, some bad contact right there as he's going to go down in these winding seconds. The referee, I think, is going to go ahead and let that uh, tick away, though. So if he does need any extra treatment, hopefully he can get that uh, during halftime as Manu. And, yes, it's going to be the end of the first half. Yeah, end of the, nil first, nil. Yeah, end of the first half, nil-nil. Uh, a lot of action, no goals in the net. A couple of players limping off for Coffeeville. We will see the shape and form they come out with in the second half uh, as we enjoy some Casey's Pizza from Mr. Andrew Elrod. Appreciate that. We will see you in about 15 minutes, folks.
after a fun halftime of pizza, pizza, and more pizza. Thank you, Andrew Elrod. We are ready for the second half of action. Ryan Butcher, we find ourselves in a similar position to the women's game as far as it is all knotted up at halftime. We have uh, a pitch invader right now. For anyone who was watching that. He's invading. <laughs> yeah, well, now he's left or the she. other side. <laughs> I just saw that. It's like, how much fun would that be if we actually did get a pitch invader, huh? Are you tempting me? It's too cold. I, it doesn't have to be that kind of pitch invasion. It could just be the, although. So you're getting what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. If I want to go out on top. And I don't think we do the professional football thing of, like, not putting the pitch invaders on camera. But, you know, you're going to have to dress <laughs> flamboyantly in some way. you got to make it interesting, and then I'd, we'll see what we can do. What about this, like, a green suit? Oh. Um, like a green man suit? Callie. Oh, Ooh, good. nice block. Slide. Yes. And just hooks it away. That is going to be a goal kick. I don't know what Kelly's thinking. No, I guess it is a corner kick. I didn't see that uh, deflect off I of guess anybody. it took a deflection, but did you see Dice K whenever he got up? Yes. That is about as much of the motion as you're going to see from him at any given point. So the fact that he got up pumping his fist, that's awesome to see. I think oh, that's yeah. a good... Uh, he deserves a fist pump for that one. He really does. And it's, it's cold out there, too, so the ball up against his body probably didn't feel too good. But here we already have, though, within the first minute of the second half, the a corner kick for Cali. Hook that one in. Ooh, I think Jeez. they came off of the Cali player. Yes, indeed. Two white shirts go down, though. Yeah. A lot of contact. A little bit slow to get up. So just out of curiosity, was the Green Man thing, is that a reference to It's Always Sunny, wearing the Green Man outfit? Not exactly, no. Um, even though I guess that might, they, do they do that on that uh, show, though? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, there's been other That's sports. Very, very obscure show. Yeah. There's been very, there's been other uh, uh Instances in, in sports where, yeah, pitch invaders, they'll be wearing, like, the whole the all-green suit or... Is it, like, um, a full-body, even-covering-the-head suit? That's yes. green, man. I'm pretty yeah. sure they got that from It's Always Sunny. Or did It's Always Sunny get uh, that from... When's the, when's the first time you saw a pitch invader wearing a totally green spandex outfit? I'll be real honest with you. In college, um, there was a... On. So we have. Oh yeah, we got the ATs coming on here. Yeah, so as this they might prefer to be called. As Montes knocks the ball into his own net. Well, and there was a clash of maybe heads, and I think yeah. that's what they're going to try to. This concussion protocol. You got to be safe. You always got to assume. As he's yeah, it's like yeah, I'm looking at his shoulder too. He favoring that right shoulder a little bit, and that's Paulo Diaz. He is the leading scorer for Coffeyville. Yeah, well, hopefully he's all right. He'll get some treatment over here, and we will find out. He's up on his feet. He's just, you know, not, he, you can tell he's not feeling too good. And, you know, the ref stopped it for a reason. Maddox came out for a reason. I think it'll just be continue on. Yeah, he is going to be subbed out in the meantime. As you can see, we have 11 Coffeeville players on the field. I didn't see who replaced him, though. No, we'll try to pick that up as soon as possible. But we're right back to action. Yeah, the game can only stop for short amounts of time. God, that was, that was a minute and a half, and already, oh my God, this is going to be a, uh, this is going to be an action-packed half here. <laughs> it is going. I'm to thinking be. of some other adjectives that I was thinking of, but I think action-packed is going to be correct for the I most part. I think you know, for a guy like me, even I can understand what you're saying there. Action-packed. Callie's got a lot of players for now looking for that. Look at how many they've got. Just like threatening threatening runs the whole time as well. So for the Coffeyville oh. defense, you're constantly having to not only mark ball and man, but probably uh, an area more or yes. less. It's going to force him. So it's forced him so far back <laughs> there. He was making a run. He was pretty deep in the Coffeyville defense. So many options. Going to take that first time. Yes, he's able to uh, knock that up. Force them to get under control. Going to go all the way back to the goalie. I don't think Coffeyville is not going to expend any extra energy on that one. Probably for the best. Hadn't yet this this match. You know that you might see something different happening later in the match. But yeah, all the first half. So far the second half, Coffeyville just allowing them to play catch in the back, but looking to take advantage of the passing lanes, block those passing lanes whenever possible. Ooh, this falls. Ooh, Dice K, nice skill. 
Oh, that was well played right there. That could have uh, fallen real badly. Is he going to try to go back to his goalie? Well, oh, he lets it bounce, I don't know. but I don't know. Oh, oh man. That's still, not, that's still not good, though. I think he's he going to be able to keep that in. in. Oh, no, man. He could not quite get to it in time. Goodness. Close. Mistakes like that, I mean, in a 0 0 game, oh. that's. Oh, goodness. Caught him kind of across the face. Is that Kanush on the ground? Yes. Oh, I'm no. He's, let it go. He's going to let him play, and I think that's right, because look who's open. Oh, that was uh, clipped away by Cali Player. Whew. Dangerous one, action. too. Yeah, I, so the foul was not called? Uh, well, there was no foul, or did he play? There, there was a foul, but the signal was made to play on. Okay. Yeah, generally, okay. like. You know, if there is some contact there and it's not a foul, they might point directly at the player, which is a way of saying, you know, nope, not happening. But if they point straight forward in the direction of play, Keep they're on saying going. play on. Oh, well, those, oh, oh, those referee days. <laughs> well, we will take that call, and we will also take this corner yeah. kick. Honestly, I'll take play on any day of the week. You know, when that's true though. Yeah, when that's there's true. a chance. Balls in. Headed away, Coffeeville, yeah. and by Coff, uh, towards Coffeeville, excuse me. Now, Kelly has a chance to attack. Got some numbers. Good Dang. ball. Hung up perfectly for him. White shirts all around, Take it though. Easy. Win it out. Kick it out. Kick it out. So, nice we're talking job. about your uh, the the activity you participated in for Hispanic Heritage Month on there. Yeah, yeah, um, Loteria. I was just thinking. It's like uh, we're watching a uh, Spanish language movie, Pan's Labyrinth, in my English I, class. I had a couple of your students talking about that in my class. Actually, they're it's enjoying indeed. that and so I, far. And I was thinking about the fact that there is actually there is a guy who finds a lottery ticket in it hmm. and uses the same word for it. There you go. Like, so you know, it's actually like for the word for lottery is the same as the word for bingo. Then, well, so basically, I mean, bingo is kind of like a lottery. You know what I mean when you think about yeah, it? Calling out well, numbers. Actually, and, yeah, I never thought about it, but that's literally just a lottery. It's just a series of numbers sure. and letters. Don't <laughs> at me, people. <laughs> yeah, and so shout out to uh, Karen and uh, the S SSC ladies, Camry as well. We had a, a fun time with the students that night. Hispanic Heritage Month has wrapped up, uh, but we had fun with that. We had a food night. We had Loteria. We had cookie decorating. We had painting. So. Yeah. And if you ever want to show them the movie Pan's Labyrinth, i got an extra copy for you. I did have students in my <laughs> class talking about watching that, and they oh, great, enjoyed it so great far. Great movie. Ri uh, beautiful, great soundtrack. Deserved all the awards that it won. Uh, and, of course, it even gives you a little chance to teach a little Spanish history that you don't often learn as someone who grows up in the American public school system. And I think that's important, yeah, as the ball Good man, clearance just continues. By Tristan there. Yeah, continues to be batted around in the midfield. Matisse... Solid in his positioning. The back line of Coffeyville solid in their positioning as well. 0-0 zero, zero score line. 38 minutes left in the second half. Okay. Am I keep hearing some shouts. Okay, no, I was looking I... around. I'm trying to figure, like, who is out there? Because I don't think it's – is it the visiting Cali women on the other side? I'm perhaps? not sure, but for it being the coldest night of the year, we actually have a very impressive crowd. Oh, well. The coldest night of the year, for, excluding... For a game, for, for okay, game-wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, 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 yeah. we did have some a decent amount of snow back in winter. Ooh, decent quick. decent for Coffeeville, Kansas, for anyone uh, listening from further north. Oh, good ball. Good ball. Oh. I, think that's, I don't think he's uh, able to get it. I like what he was thinking there, like uh, trying to like drop it towards uh, the uh, drop it towards the flag and run onto it, basically getting it away from the sweeper. And Yeah, but this time Coffeeville is playing uh, with the wind at their backs, so a little touch is going to make a lot more difference in terms of how fast it's traveling. And that was Mario who put the touch to that ball, trying to, like you said, uh, cleverly used the area he had in front of him uh, to create a little bit of space. Uh, every time he receives the ball, he's got two or three orange shirts around him. Anything he can do for that separation, he's going to try. It's going to take something clever to get past this Cali defense, but Coffeyville is showing that they have the goods to be able to do so. I'm watching the jockeying going on at the back line. I wasn't even watching the ball. I was just watching the players kind of move in and out. Well, it's so fascinating because Callie just probes and probes, and then they go, and here's one into the box. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Crucial. Crucial on that what one. What a save. Who knew where that one was traveling? Matisse probably. Another one. Oh, I that Tristan, I think, did that nice touch right there to get that out. No call, no call. Good defense. It will Whew. be a corner, but good defense. And he is uh, – 
Wow, look at him. He's like stalking around up there, you know. <laughs> he's, like, he's got a feeling that one. Yeah, he, he <laughs> was. <laughs> I feel non- like if he was the Macho Man Randy Savage, we could hear it from up here. Oh, yeah. Just getting himself pumped. Corner kick for Cali. They'll take it short. Easy. <laughs> could have been could have been bad if God if he had even gotten the barest of light touches on that just to just to redirect it five degrees if in any direction that could have done it. He could have got three to four hair follicles on that thing right there, and it might have ended up in the back of the net. It was just needing a forehead, <laughs> needing something needing a to glance. glance it on. Yeah, exactly. Diogo's gonna throw this one in. Okay. Get it from Taylor, who is hoping to be the recipient of that, but now it's already heading back up the pitch here yeah he was, yeah, he was even like yep 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 sorry i'm out of here <laughs> he didn't try to both players realize <laughs> it's a free kick for cali really different so far from the away game that i watched which although when those goals started coming they yes they did it was like a flood so can't let that flood begin or maybe be on the other end of that which Kanush is, oh. Oh, he goes for it. Oh, oh. Not, not too. I, I, I really like that. I love that. it. Yeah, I no, like I, that. I like that. I didn't Keep realize he was so toes. far out. Me neither until I saw that. And if that had been I on thought, target, that goalie would have had to double time it there. I thought, what is he doing? I know. I was like, there's nobody up there. Oh. Oh, that's what he's doing. I, oh, and see, there you go. I mean, it's every little one thing. mistake. Yeah, one mistake is, is, is all it would take. For a game so tense as this one here, yeah, too much contact. A little too much. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, that's the type of foul that's going to get you some additional attention from the referee there as Coffeeville gets their second yellow card of the game. No, or first yellow card of the game, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think that's Manu, who, as Manu who picks it up as well. And it wasn't because it was just so blatant. To be real honestly, yeah, to be real honest, unnecessary as well. And it was right in front of him, too. No one was really around. But good, good hustle by number ten. Good hustle by, um, you know, Manu. That's just what it's going to take. It's going to take a play like that. Oh, sorry, that was our second yellow. I have marked down right here. The other one was for number twenty-four. Oh, that's right. I do remember that. And had a mark up here for the. Was there a yellow card for Cali? Maybe not. You need to get your marks under control. Well, the problem is this is the same sheet of paper <laughs> that I used last week. Well. So I didn't exactly have uh, names attached to some of these things because, come on, how much can I look up at one time? That ball's going to play all the way out and over for Coffeyville. Both teams struggling just a little bit to put it all together. Maybe one pass missing, maybe just uh, a turnover here or there. Uh oh, uh oh. Gonna try to push forward a little bit. Well, up higher, but not quite. Nah, still dropping back, huh? Not quite over committing on this one. I'm guessing, like, I haven't. I've only, of course, watched one Cali game this season, which is the one we played against them. But maybe that's been their strategy for a lot of the goals they've scored is, like, try to get the other team to overcommit. Sure. Like, get too far up, oh, and yeah. then that's when they do the counterattack. Just playing with you, really. Kanush is uh, urging. His teammates to step it up with the energy there. Yeah, and so and on that play there, Diogo had had stepped up, you know, defensively. He felt as if the Cali player kind of manipulated him into the contact or, uh, you know, got to the space second. Actually, he felt like he got there first, but uh, referee did not see it that way. Referee gave the call to Cali, and no, oh, good step up, another good step up. This is a run that has some potential, even though there are Cali players making it back. Oh, good header there. <laughs> he was uh, he had a Caulfield player stalking behind him waiting to get it. I was about to say, he took that one kind of like, like he took it well, but you could tell that that did not feel great. But. So that was Lev Koz, uh, Kozlov who received that foul. And, yeah, so whenever you come in, it, it wasn't necessarily really high studs, but they were high enough. Yeah. Right? I mean, they were being shown. They were out. It was dangerous. And so this will give a free kick to number 10, uh, Manu, and the Coffeeville Red Ravens. 33 minutes left. Let's see what they can do with this one. Oh, I, lo- I love what Tristan was thinking there. Just pop that over. But Cali, uh, Cali defender was able to get uh, something on that too. Makes it into a corner kick. 
Yeah, that, Tristan just wanted to kind of. That's going to be know. what does it too. It's going to be something like that. We've already seen a lot of attempts just redirect a ball into the net, like to do just enough to shake up, you know, to shake up the keeper a little bit. So you got a substitution here. I think that might be uh, who, think who that's are you thinking? Mario. I think it's Mario or Paulo. Is Paulo back in? Turn around, son. <laughs> uh oh. Well, that uh, could start something. Callie's got some runners here. He's got at least one up at the line, but yeah, I think maybe holding it up was the right call for how heavily he was being uh, shadowed there. That could have easily gone bad for him. Oh, wow. We already have a counter counter attack here as I think it's going to go out for a corner kick. Oh, nice. And so it was number 15, Jaden Trice, yes. uh, coming in for Caulfield. I want to go ahead and give him his credit there. All the way from St. Louis. All right, STL. Corner kick for Coffeeville. St. Louis actually well known for their soccer. You know the, the state of Missouri. Ah, uh, man, you are just teasing me right now, huh? Because like I was in St. Louis and I wanted to see like I like there was a game there while I was visiting. I wanted to go to the stadium. These tickets would have been expensive, but the person I was there with wanted to see uh, wanted to see West Side Story <laughs> at, a, at a at at an outdoor theater in. Which, granted, Forest Park, beautiful. Loved it. It was great. Oh, I'm sure it was a you great know, performance. Great. Don't get me wrong. And it, well, I did have a super tall guy sitting in front of me. Couldn't hold his head still. But uh, the whole time I was thinking, man, I could have seen their new expansion team. Like, I could have seen it. I heard, I've, heard, I've heard such good things about it. Yeah. They're uh, St. Louis uh, SC, which I do, which I have. I feel, I feel nothing but respect for teams that's like, no, soccer club. <laughs> I'm, I can only think of a few um, teams in MLS. Uh, Salt Lake City, are they SC as well, maybe? Uh, I'd have to think about that one. For yeah, a bit. you're going to have to go back to the uh, to the research and let us know about that one. I'm thinking of like FC Dallas. I'm thinking of like everything but what you're trying yeah, to, I was get about me to say, there, think of. There's even an FC Tulsa, which used to be the Roughnecks. But I watched them from time to time on yeah. uh, television. Not, yeah, not they bad. were having some recent good games, but uh, all in all, the seasons are you you go there to be a fan and you just accept that everyone's having a good time <laughs> and that's what it's all about as yes, Cali Cali continues to probe they're gonna good put ball the box, really good ball comes out Oof. oh I think maybe he got some of Daisuke when he went through it yeah I think like I like on his side as he was rushing back oh that's gonna knock the wind out of you right there both Daisuke's of our goalkeepers apologetic there yeah they have they have really given their bodies tonight for the team, both Rosa and uh, Matisse. I know that is what basically makes oh. a good goalkeeper, but every time oh, is you he see gonna, it, it hurts. Is, is he going to get him while he's on his run? Tries to go back with it instead. Now gets it to him. Okay. Taylor Buena was on, but now off. Taylor's getting back to his position. He was <laughs> all the way across the field. Can't stop him, though, right? Nope, you really can't. Only hope to contain a, a guy like him. Ooh, passing accuracy. There's a run on the far side. They're going to try. Well, well no, they went run near side. there, but yeah, the ball kind of got hung up a little bit. It's going to let that intentionally play back, which was an interesting choice. Maybe he didn't think he could get it as Kanush snatches it away. Good D. He's got runners in the middle, maybe. Oh, okay. Gets it to Taylor, who I think might go for that if he can get some space. Oh, nice. That's really good. Good juke. Oh. It just didn't make it as now. God, this is like, again, this is end to end. It really is, folks. As you can see that everyone is starting to empty those uh, tanks, you know, and just like start uh, putting it out all out on the field on both sides. As if by magic, it summons up other players who's come running on the ball. <laughs> it is that time of the match for sure. 28 minutes left. Now we're actually seeing that kind of ease off a little bit. Everyone's considering. So where do we go from here? It was close. Which is the way that's clear. Good reaction from the Coffeyville D just staying solid. Oh, 
Pressure you know, could tell. He, like, he was even following that. He knew that's where he was going to go, but the guy took it one time and got it away from danger. So here's Coffeyville's chance to run. Trying to drop it towards the corner, and he'll have options to uh, smoothly play it back. So, yeah, it's time to back off and get back into position. Good layoff there, good run. Tries to feed it back. Will it stay in? Well, I thought he had a chance, but. I, he did have a chance. I Probably could have <laughs> stayed on a seat he, there, maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, like, in my head, I'm doing the, you know, the meme of the lady seeing all the different equations pop up in front of her while I'm trying to calculate how that would have helped him keep the ball <laughs> in. <laughs> Substitution looking to come in for Coffeyville. Well, warm it up at least. He's got his uh, mesh shirt off. He's ready to come in. Oh, yeah. Dancing around. Coffeyville, good D. Looking to run. He does Noose. have a. Oh, man. He's the runner there, but I think he was trying to give it. I think he was trying to pass it off to Manu there, yeah, but. I think so. I don't know. It was a little too much on that for him. So, Lev is on that one over there on the far side. They're not going to trick you. I mean, you know what they're going to do. It's just a matter of when, more or less. I was about to say, this could be it. Onto his foot. No foul there, says the ref. No, that one is going to be a foul. Mm, I don't know. You don't I, think so? I mean, obviously it's called, so it is. But <laughs> Tristan didn't seem too convinced. Do you think maybe he tried to sell it? you think if we look at that replay... That's what we'll see. Maybe so. But either way. In the moment. Red Raven fans, we have to get ourselves ready for a free kick here in a honestly dangerous position. Just to the right of center. A couple of Cali players down to tie their shoes. Not quite sure what the holdup is here, though. So one man over this. So, uh, well, no, there's two. So you have two options here for this free kick. Are they going to do the step over? Probably not, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that he got to watch that go past because from up here it looked a lot closer, but I, he seemed pretty confident on Matisse over there. And you it, you almost don't watch the ball. You watch Matisse's body language, right, because sometimes angles can be deceiving. Uh, from up here in the booth, I thought that was oh, the problem about is, to go in. I have seen a fair amount of goals go in with a next to a goalie with his feet planted, quote unquote, watching it go out, and that's like I think what made me freeze up because you know you see that happen one too many times, especially to your own team. You're like, oh man, is it going to happen? But no, he was correct. Your stomach drops a little bit, but here's a more attacking moves from Cali. That's out in uh, a throw-in. So 20 minutes gone from this second half. Still a 0-0 score line. Chilly night in Coffeyville, Kansas. As I think that went out, right? No? No, nope. he got it. Good job by Matisse. Excellent job. Not the biggest guy in the world, but very tough in those type of situations. Bouncing back from an injury that uh, he had to... You know, take care of last oh. spring and the beginning of this fall. Be able fall to get around well. that? I think he will. Oh, <laughs> this is good. D. That, good. D. That was the most uh, physical battle I've seen so far that didn't end up with a foul. You know, so I have to add that qualifier there at the end. Cali throwing about two or three runners at you every single time. Good defense from Coffeyville. Oh, what's Kinnear's going to be able to do with this? I'm trying to play it all the way through. Did he make it? No. A okay. little too much on that one. I think, uh, I think maybe that last touch came off of Mario. I think it was just way too fast for him to get under control from, gotcha. from a distance of like, you know, 10 feet. <laughs> 
and and I don't mean to uh, confuse our footballs here, but you know the Cali offense, you could say, for you know this match tonight, it's kind of like the option in college football. As a defense, you're not just having to you know cover like the man and ball. You're having to cover the ball and like three or four different men or options or players that are you know making runs, making moves. Cali's trying to do everything they can to disguise those moves, you know, make you not able to make that decision to be able to cut out passes like that. A little bit of trickery, skill, and speed as well plays into it. You have to have a very disciplined defense, uh, patient uh, right. as well, and a defense that knows their role, uh, as The Rock would put it, uh, to be able to have success against a, a team like Cali. Does The Rock really say you have to know your role? I think he used to back in the day. I was about to say, is he like intentionally making like a rock and roll joke, or was that just unintentional? Oh, I think back in the day he used to say, know your role. Whew. Just players uh, on the when field will it be called? Here. No, well, Nothing's okay. being called. And that's fine. And looks like he's getting up, which is good. Is that Kanushu was getting up, I think? Number seven? Pretty sure. Well, yeah. who can even look at that? God, so, there's so much going on over yeah, here. Yeah, there he is, all over Whoa. the place. Which, God, what a stop! Another crucial stop there. Goodness gracious, that was Tristan on that that big stop there. Kanush is apologizing to the referee as he almost like just ran headlong into him. He kind of <laughs> spun away at the last second. But I think there was like maybe just a little bit of contact, but you know he was. Uh, kind of get that like tunnel vision you know you're only focused on one sure, thing sure yeah then just all of a sudden there was a there was a purple obstacle in front of him that's a good ball sent in and that's a really funny way to <laughs> describe the referee great popsicle out here no problem for Matisse yeah, Cali player was kind of spinning away from that I was wondering why four but he's up so Matisse is he doing all right stretching it out a little bit I think so he's, he's really walk. been he's really been uh Worked hard. He has. Yes, he has. Physically, mentally, having to lead the team as well. Doing a good job. There's some sort of bird out there. I was going to say a bird or music <laughs> or something. I, I don't know, but either way. Being picked up by the mic. Oh, what a run. Into the box. Takes takes a little shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder contact was enough to uh, nudge him off the ball. A little shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder contact. Never I, hurt anyone. I don't even see the sidelines protesting that it was anything more because they know. Yeah, not at all. As actually. Tristan uh, got, uh, got caught a little bit. Woo, That's a good woo, ball. That should have been it. And this is oh. going to make for a run. Is, is he going to take it? Oh, he's got to get under control first, and that's not an easy thing considering what he's having to deal with. Okay, okay. Is he call get it. The call he'll oh, get it. Man. And will we see a yellow card? I think, well, yep. Yes, indeed. He's looking very innocent right now, but I don't think that's going to work. The Cali goalkeepers, man, living on the edge. Truly. Goodness gracious, that was another instance where if that ball falls in a different position, man, he, he you know he just it, like I mean. he really could. Like that's something that like the way that it was bouncing, just get his foot under it, just get a little bit of space. He could have redirected that into the goal, and the goalie wouldn't have had a chance. But he's being marked by two players. Exactly, he's yeah. not going to get that opportunity. They did their job as yeah. Canoose might be nicked up just a little bit, but he's he's staying in there. This is Manu, uh, and his left foot's going to put this one in. And pops up off Kelly player. I think that's going to be a corner kick. Yeah, we'll take that one as well. 25 minutes gone so far. 20 minutes left. Saturday night here in Coffeyville, Kansas. Most of the season gone. I think three games left, right, Ryan Butcher? I think like two or three, maybe three or four games left. Yes, three, I think. All right, gonna hook that into the. Oh, oh! And he puts it in. Go! <laughs> Who else is it gonna be? That's Dice K. Yes, indeed. I go! I still got a goal written down from him from a previous game. I don't even have to erase the G. It's it's right there. What a see! I 
told you it's just going to be someone just turning it in yes. just like in front of goal and that's yes. what he did he great did. corner well placed header that's what we needed his jump was perfectly timed <laughs> right he, he got height uh we can't celebrate too much now folks let's not well, celebrate too much let's but celebrate an appropriate amount Kanush is getting the crowd to celebrate oh, as well, man. so we appreciate that. So, you know, you remember <laughs> remember Tiago Diaz? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We've had a string, and, it, and then even Jow last year too, you know, we've had a string of really, really good cornerbacks or center backs <laughs> um, who not only defend well but can also pass and head it in uh, there as well. Yes, Dice indeed. K is just, man, he – How many goals has he had this season? Do you have those stats in front of you right now? So he, that makes four. He has four now Ooh. on the season. That is four from a oh. center back. Wow. Well, hey, that is how the center backs tend to get their goals is off of set pieces. So Perfect. So happy for him to, to do it. A la Maldini or Sergio Ramos. Yes, indeed. Now, Cowley, though, I don't think they're going to let that stick. And no, they're not. What better way <laughs> to raise morale than to tie it back up again, right? They're away. Uh, the crowd is against them. They are coming off of a loss. They they have a solid record. They know they can get themselves back. Uh, let's see how the defense from Coffeeville responds, right? We've got to stay focused here. No silly penalties, no mistakes. Yes, indeed. And also, if Coffeeville can try to keep possession more, because Cali has had, uh, you know, a larger share of possession in this game. I think you're right. Earlier we said it was like maybe 70 to 30. But as I found out in many such soccer games when my team has had the bulk of possession, that doesn't really matter always. It's whoever uh, actually is like putting it in the back of the net. And sometimes waiting for your opportunity, waiting to take it. Oh, like that, man. For instance. Yes. And that goalkeeper's all the oh, way out. Do it. What is he doing? He's going to be able to. Oh, he drags it back. Oh, nice turn. Uh, oh. Just loses it there at the end. Oh, Goalie's first to take it. Playing with real fire. Fast. That's another opportunity where the goalie, yeah, he's still playing out fast. Even after uh, there was that attempt, uh, I love that back heel on goal early in the first half. Or was that mid first half? Whatever. It happened in the first half. Whenever it was, it it happened. And or, or wait, or was that early this oh, half? Oh, my shoot. God, it's yeah, all blurring that's, together. That's probably a yellow. Yeah, that's probably. No? Okay. It's, yeah, it, just from the position in which it happened. Yep. The aftermath. He's going to sell it, you know, of course. He should. So would you like to explain to the viewing audience what just happened? So there was a run on this far side, and it looks as if maybe Diogo gave him a hip. Gave him a little hip, and the player... Oh, okay, okay, yeah. And so he, Diogo gave him a little hip, and honestly, the player was running so fast and was concentrating much. so much on the ball. Yeah, I mean, he flew right into the uh, bench area and onto the track. And so, like I said, where it happened, how it happened, Diogo's saying, hey, you know, it's just shoulder to shoulder. But when you throw them off their run like that, and it happens in such a dramatic it's uh, way. It's borderline. And right in front of the Cali bench, uh, he runs into the player. So it makes it look worse than what it was, but the, the the young man from Cali earned that foul. There's there's no doubt about that. Yes, indeed. As more discussions. Is he telling them, hey, do not run on to this one faster? Okay, that's what I was, I was like, what do you have to say to him other than, hey, come back a few steps. Hey, I've got this spray. It's magic. <laughs> so, I mean, this free kick, they might just take it short. Yeah, okay. I mean, that has been sort of their M.O. True. In this game. Down a goal, Red Ravens up 1-0. 17 minutes left in this second half, so Cali down a goal looking to do something here, right? I mean, they've had possession. They've played. Oh, my. Ooh, off, the side, oh my. off the side netting there. <laughs> they played solid all game. Oh, what I wanted to go back to, Butcher, was this whole possession thing. I've heard people say it's the most useless statistic in soccer. I can believe it. You know, because it really doesn't matter, right? I mean, even, you can even say American football as well. You can have the ball for less amount of time, but if you just utilize that time, then who cares, right? Right. And, oof, wow. S smashing that out right there was Daisuke yet again. The man. But, yeah, it's, it's often where 
When it comes to possession, when it, if a team is dominating on the scoreboard and also possession, the game can feel excruciating depending on what side you're cheering for. But when it's a very tightly packed game, like when there's not much of a uh, spread in the score, possession feels like it matters more sometimes. True. That's a good point. Oh, man, laid it up for him. He had it on his right foot. Well, he had it somewhere. Yes. Oh, hey, look, he's even helping out. That's nice of him. Appreciate it, bro. <laughs> Except there's more on the field. That was a really well-placed kick back to him, huh? Matisse has skill, no doubt about it. It's making me remember last week a little bit. Do you remember that? It was like very small little seconds lost and very certain things. You recall that. Oh, right? for sure, <laughs> yeah. Does, it, feels, <laughs> it feels less bad to be on the giving end of that. You're right. You are right. Just going to go around to All the, way the, from the far back, side. Butcher. Yes, indeed. Coffeyville's getting back in there. 30 minutes have passed. 15 Cali minutes remain. hanging out in an offside position, but you know, just going to creep back up there. Tristan and the boys make their way back. Good job. Good cut out there. <laughs> Is that the name of the back line? Is it Tristan and the boys? <laughs> I gave a band name to the women's team back line. Yeah. And I think I, yeah, Tristan and the boys. Sure. Why not? Is that boys with a Z? Are we going back to the 90s? No. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be honest with you, Ryan Butcher? Like, What's I, that? Oh, well, let's let this play out first. Good okay. ball to the right. Let me get to that question. Oh. Good move. Good. Oh, Trevela. He tried the Trevela yeah, on him. Look did. out. Getting fancy down here. Oh, Once wow. again. Matisse, good job. Gonna have to get right back up. You may be having another one come fly. Oh, never mind. Just enough done there. Taylor Buena, I think, is on the breakaway there. Or yes, he is. Yes. Ooh, rough play. Rough play from Diogo, but yeah. I think he'll get called for that one. So I, I'm number 15, uh, Trice. Man, he's, he's come up big since coming yeah. in. He's, had, he's played some pretty big minutes. So what was the question, or, or, or was that it? I totally forgot. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I, I was going somewhere. But nowhere now. <laughs> I thought that you were. I'm just so intense into the game. Like, I remember, I think I was trying to make a point. But I was about to say, was it, was it you? Were you going to challenge me to think if I could think of any 90s bands that had a Z oh, in the boys? Because I was thinking I of Heavy D in the boys. I never cared for, like, Bad grant. I, mean, I just can't. <laughs> you never cared for bad grant. I've never cared for it. I mean, in pop music. Yeah, like boys, B O Y Z. Oh, it just seems so fake. Here's the ball it into the box. It just seems so fake. Oh, it's, it's it's. Oh wow! Got that up in the top shelf. Callie snatches one back. Poacher's yeah. goal right there. Well, and so that that ball was headed down. Yeah, and into that a was dangerous in a dangerous area. spot. Callie's able to get it back, and now what with less than a third of the second half as uh, some signaling towards the sideline there is the referee. Yeah, so newfound life for the Cali side, not only the bench but also the supporters over in those bleachers. It's been a hard-fought match both ways, and so they you can uh, feel the relief almost from that goal on the Cali side. Yes, yes, indeed. It was Really well earned there. Yes, it was. Headed down into the box. There was a lot of uh, confusion, chaos in the end. The ball's in the back of the net. Matisse is not happy with himself, but, I mean, really, he tried his best there. So one to one. Equalized and all to play for. Coffeeville enjoyed a lead for a little while, but Cali's showing their class. So I do have to ask, uh, was that Gomez's second yellow? Four. Uh, in that, uh, before that free kick on the near side, was that his second yellow? Because I thought it was, but I wasn't positive because I didn't think I saw a red card come out after that. Do we have 11 players on the pitch right now? Well, Ryan. Butcher. Or am I just uh, bad at counting? No, Butcher, I think you're right. One, Oh, there's only 10. We must have missed something. See, that's when Diogo got his yellow. I was like, was, I was like, didn't he also get a yellow there on the far side in that one? No, Diogo's still about? in. There he so, is right okay, there. So he's still in? Then I guess I'm just confused here. Maybe it's Batter County. Hey, 
Because if there's really only 10, someone needs to let the coach know. There's 10. There's 10, Butcher. Maybe something happened that I just totally missed. Oh, Ooh, wow. Got it through the wall. Going for a direct shot on goal there. Continued action, chaos, last minutes of this one. So we have a foul called on Cali about midfield. Uh, folks, we apologize that we might have missed uh, a huge part of. No, is that. So is Daisuke coming back on there? Was he just injured? No, I was counting him up as well. I don't, at least I'm, I believe so. We are down to 10 men, Ryan Butcher. That's just it, though. I never saw a red card. I feel like if there had been a red card, like, even if we weren't looking at it, we would have heard it if you catch my drift. I do catch that drift. I do. I don't know. Either way, uh, we see ourselves 1-1 one, one scoreline. Crowds from both sides. Getting pretty hyped. This is a nice end of the season match here. End of the home season. Good, oh. good, good call. Good Woo. call. Crucial. Crucial to knock that out of there. He would have run straight on that as Callie's going to send it way back there. Did we get some cheerleaders out there? I heard something. There was a chant going. I mean cheerleaders in the colloquial sense, not like – as their actual job. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't think we have any of the Spirit Squad out here, but we have a really nice uh, crowd on a Saturday night, chilly Didn't Saturday like, night. Uh, was it like last season or was it the season before that uh, like we did have uh, Mr. Color Wiggins squad? and yeah. the band came out. Yeah. Mr. Wiggins and the band would also be a good name for a band. I should say Dr. Wiggins. He does have his Ph.D. Well, when he's doing his band persona, you know, as he's part a doctor of the band well. leader. He's a doctor. Well, no, too, see, though. he's, oh, really? He's a doctor of funk. Doctor of funk. He's got a PhD. In funk. In funk. So I guess with 10 men, I mean, Cali can probe even more, send even more uh, players. Nope. <laughs> Cannot make that. Uh, go through Mario. Not. Ooh, like Manu Howard. might have a chance here. Oh, I think he's gonna uh, still have a chance to stay with it. Ooh, oh, <laughs> a bit of a late, a late slide there. Could have been potentially bad for both him and the player that had connected. Looks like he's gonna walk away the, with the worst of that one. Does not feel great. Opens up for Cali though. Ah, no Easy. problem for Matisse. Never a problem for Matisse. Under 10 minutes to play here, folks. Let it play all the way back. With all the <laughs> oh man, I knew this that I knew this game was going to get uh, a lot more physical in the second half, and uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we called for it. That's for sure. Still a lot of time left to earn some <laughs> more yellow cards and fouls uh, and goals <laughs> as well. As they have been doing all night, Cali just kind of probing here. Sends it long. Matisse comes out. Had to make it. Had to make it. Not done yet, though. Not done yet. Still in the box. Sends it in. Brut brutal runs on those far on that far side there. Takes it first time. Well, actually, ends up being a pass. Oh, deflection! Deflection oh, off good. of a Coffeeville player. Uh, luckily, it took a little bit of the sting out of it on top of redirecting it, that so it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Yeah, tough one to give up there. Man, 
that guy's so good at those uh, yeah, he at those is. stops and starts and like quick bursts of speed. He is hard to brutal. Oh, oh, and there's a good stop there. Yeah, that ball was just looking for an orange shirt to get on top of it. Now I think that was handball, right? Did he? Did he? Did it look like the... he was doing the traveling thing from basketball? I saw him do like a little something like that. <laughs> I you don't know? know. I'm not sure. I mean, I think you're probably right. Like when he went down there to hit it with his chest, like maybe it bounced off his hands, which, yeah. we, which we would not be able to see from this angle if that were the case. Oh, 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 oh gonna get onto that's this gonna one. gonna fall really well. There's no way he can score, but can he hold it up long enough to get some help here? Oh, or we'll take a corner. Or win a corner. Yeah, I very good. Corner. That is probably the better option when thinking. You know what? situation we find ourselves in <laughs> as far as being That's down a man oh no you know no no I, mean? as far I was as just really enjoying like all of the little things that happen around the ball oh, okay things like that <laughs> go on one of my favorite things back before we used to even do announcements was i like to be like right on the like almost like five feet away from the sidelines so you could see every little thing it's always my favorite part of the game but uh, well you know it's uh, all the intricacies, the yeah, for sure. <laughs> the big things. To be right there. So here's a... Are we going to try the same thing again? Might as well. Ah, it does not get short. far. But it doesn't go too far out on the clearance either. And who's going to get that one? Just popped up there. Like that's Trice. Jay. Yeah. Okay, so foul called on Cali. <laughs> Players would have liked to have just kept on going, but... Nonetheless, six and a half minutes to turn this around. Well, turn it around. Turn it around above. in a sense, though, for for sure. The the fortunes yeah. and just you know. I the guess I guess you could look at it, or let's say to uh, make a definitive statement. There you go. So here it is, Manu looking to make this statement. One, uh -oh. two, three, four. Uh -oh. ah, it's not going to get past the wall there. As it looks like a two on three here, maybe two on four if he's able to get back on time. Good and job. never mind. Good recovery. Wow, is he even able to keep that one in? Looks as if both of those players yeah, unfortunately, are. Unfortunately, there's no player to cross it to. Like, everyone had uh, run back to defend, which is, you know, that's a problem when you're down a player. Mario was on the ball, but nowhere to go. I think Coffeeville is going to be happy to let a few seconds go by because, again, having that disadvantage. You know, it's it's hard to keep up this level of pressure. But I think they could still uh, turn this game. Like, I think they could uh, get a win out of it. Yeah, here's a throw in, and it is. It's going to chest that back. To, oh, mm, I'll be a. Wait, 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 wait. What do we got? Still a Cali player on the field. He's going to go ahead and stop, play here for a second, and see yeah, if he needs some treatment there. And we got our AT emerges from under her. Uh, her tent that <laughs> she made her there. <laughs> out of blankets yeah. or whatever she's got. And, and so the players oh, man, up. she just lost all of her warmth and wasn't needed, which, you know, she's probably happy she wasn't needed. But, man, all that warmth gone. Yeah, that's what she's saying to the person over there, like, hey, I was warm. <laughs> Here's a throw in. All the way throw back in. out, yeah. Going to take a long one? Looks like it. Has to be, has to be. Just Ooh, flicks taps on. it over. Yeah, just flicks it over. Nice. Oh, Very nice, nice play. Came, came, came from a long way for that. Oh! 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 <laughs> that was so close. Oh, my God. That would have been the sweetest plum right there. That that I could have gone home happy for the next week, two weeks off of that one. Oh, oh. I think I broke my pencil. I did. I think I took the <laughs> wire right out of the motherboard there. Uh, oh, what an athletic play. Oh, oh yeah, gosh. that was so close. Oh, but, hey. Dice K. Dice K. Yeah. Right? Oh, man. Here it is, though. Good another, corner. Another, Good corner. Another chance. It's in. Oh. Goal. All right. <laughs> that celebration oh, in reverse. Oh, there we <laughs> go. That's what I was wanting to do right there, folks. And it is Dice K. It's Dice K out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Out well, of nowhere. You, from the spot he's always in, in front of the goal on a corner kick. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Well, hey, folks, we cannot get too crazy here. This is still a game. There are still four minutes left. I think Kanush <laughs> celebrated so hard he has a cramp. <laughs> 
I oh, think no. he's cramping up. Oh, uh, is he the only one? Has no, we got a I couple think we players have down on the field? field players who have either cramped up or Oof, all that all that play is finally uh, creeping up to him as the celebration is uh, turned into like a funeral dirge. Well, so I felt bad that I overreacted on the non-goal, but then Dice K saves me. Uh, and goes I didn't ahead. feel bad for. Oh, oh, I think the reaction on the non-goal was just the 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 level of like excitement that had built up and had to be released somehow, even if it wasn't one of joy, just one of just just, just like all of it just had to come spilling emotion, out. Emotion. I yeah, don't think I was yeah. ready to celebrate. A, uh, well, I wouldn't have thought I was ready to start a, to celebrate. Second, I almost knocked over my lemonade. I almost <laughs> took the wire right out of the motherboard. It's a good uh, thing I already broke the pencil, so I don't <laughs> got to worry about it anymore. Hey. This, it is the last home game of the season. Up here in the booth, we are hyped. We are ready. We are looking to see this last four minutes out. Man, guys, stick together. Stick together. Stay strong. Here we go. Yeah, about to say they're going to come hard on this one. Like yes, They're going to they be are. Uh, pressing like crazy. Look at that. Normally, we know that their go-to would have been to go back to their goalie, but not now. Nope. Not are, now. On the front foot, there is only so much time left in this crazy game. Yeah, and it could turn that same joy into heartache. Joy turns to ashes in your mouth, right? I What's am, that even from? I don't know. Is that like Game of Thrones? Is that what that was? Uh, I have famous by? no idea. I only watched the first season. It's possible. <laughs> but <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Allie Proben, Proben looking to Keep those make that probing. pass. And I guess boot that, boot that forward. Now, hopefully the goalie thinks to just scoop it up. Oh, yeah, go <laughs> ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I, I like that play, though, because, I mean, it's, it's a tough position for him to be in so far away from his own goal. Yeah. Oh, oh man, wasn't able to keep that play. Come on, make it back, make it back. Got one. He only. I was about to say he only had uh, one player making a run to the box. To oh man, why are oh, they? Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, that's not. He's getting physical that's there. That's not necessary at all. Oh, that's boy. so unnecessary. I didn't see what precipitated that. I just saw. I just saw the reaction to it. Um, I really don't think he was. That's got to be a card or something. You can't grab the ball person like that. I yeah, mean. and the thing is, what do you do? Because that was a lot of players. And generally that kind of physicality, you see at least a caution. But who's the caution go to? Man, I, I get it if he's really – and I'm sure he was. The caution, could go, certain, to, the caution mean, could go to the coach. You know, it's like, hey. Overall, you yeah. Get, get, your, your players. get your players in line here. I don't um, know. Or maybe just to talking to. Wow, yeah. I was about to say, if I were the uh, person doing that guy's job, I would – <laughs> I would not feel great about that one. And again, I, I mean, I didn't see him holding up the play. I'm sure he – I'll watch that you know, when I watch the replay just to check. I mean, he, he didn't do the thing like with Eden Hazard and the ball boy on the side of the field when he literally was covering it. Do you remember that uh, yeah, famous yeah, game? Yeah, I do, I do. And he didn't, like, fall over or anything. And, and um, Eden Hazard got a red card for that one. Is he going to throw that out there. <laughs> is he getting escorted out or what? I mean, was, Is he? Looks like it. Well – Hmm. No, uh, I was about to say, uh, what's the linesman saying to him? Like, is did the linesman see something else? Oh man, what I would not give. Are they actually saying? I guess he's he out. Did have a role with that? So yeah, they'll have to shift uh, the helpers over, saying that maybe that's what he was up to. Hey, do you know who that is? Can we talk to him later? Is that one of our students? It's it's more than likely one of our students. Yes, I can't tell because he's so heavily clothed. I was about to at say the moment, but. Oh, gosh, here we go. All right, uh, was fellas. That, was that outside the box? Looks like it based well, on his, uh, where he's running right now. So you have over-exaggerations from one side. You have physical play from the other. Uh, two minutes left of this. Let's see if we can make it out alive here, guys. <sighs> Takes it fast. Ball is up. Oh, oh. off the. No, no, yep. no. Nope. Well, no. Yep. What was he uh, doing right there? He oh, was making some okay. movements. Wait, what's going on? What's he? Is he pointing for it? Is this to say that this is a free kick of some sort? That's what I'm trying to figure out here. Because uh, uh, normally if it's a goal, the linesman would also be running down uh, towards ball? the center. Yeah, because like, I saw him making some movements as if to negate it. Um, he, he yeah. He seems to be... Yeah, I think he's saying that it wasn't a 
goal? Uh, yes, that is the case. Man. Oh, my. Oh, man, oh, man, I need to know. I need to know these things. The history that we have with Cali, I, honestly, this we we just got to get out of here unscathed. I mean, in all honesty, we've got to keep our composure. Ooh, I'm just hoping the players are going to be all right. I feel like this could get nasty well, that's fast. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, both sides. Oh, I was talking about myself. I hope I can get out of here alive. All that pizza's starting to, like, say, you know, the heart's talking to me. Well, the <laughs> both sides really need to... Let's see, guys. Two minutes here. This is what it's all about. Everyone's backing off. Everyone's too afraid to overcommit. Oh, and, there and we go. And make a mistake. Good play. But you know who's Good not play. there. The <laughs> ball person. Yeah, there's no ball person over there anymore. Oh, man. Or did they find in? I guess I, it looks like they're using one of their uh, substitutes for it now. Well, isn't that convenient? Here we go. Shot is on, and it oh, is I'd Independence, love to see. Kansas. I'd love to see more shots like that. Hey, here we go. <laughs> so all the belly aching and the whining, here we go. One minute, 30 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> oh, man. It's fun when you're on that one other I know. side, but it's well, terrible okay, when you're on hey, the other. If you're one of the uh, Cali fans watching, is it really that bad to be 11-3? and three? We'll find out. They Come might. On. They you might. You guys will be fine. They might pull it out. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I was wondering who's going to get called for that. Looks like I think that was, I think it was Jaden. I think, yes. Yeah, tries, yes, it was. Maybe, but either way, here we go. One minute left. Do you think the refs will run off the pitch? Got to be careful. To... Any silly fouls will stop the clock. That's true. That's and true. I've got to be careful not to uh, no get penalties. something inside the box. Yeah. Just inside the 18. Careful not to overcommit. Oh, there okay. you go. Good play. Love it. And that's a good spot. Yeah, if he can take out, that to goalie. the corner. Oh. Is he good? Yes, 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 yes. Sorry for you. Because he was going to run for the corner flag, but he'll be or just as happy to run the clock down. And all of a sudden, Kanush, you can feel his cramp coming back. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is, like, this is like theater. This is like theater. This is th this is theater. Hey man, you can't laugh at a recurring cramp. That's a na that's a nasty thing. It happens at uh, it happens when times are tough and tense. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, are they going to sub him so off? So we do even? have a sub. Yeah, we do have a sub coming on. We had our AD. No, no, hold on. That's actually. Has a Oh, is he actually like, oh, he's actually really having trouble getting back up. Yeah, I think he actually might be subbed. And there's that. Wait, so Jaden was one coming off? Or is he just, uh, I don't know. No, now I'm actually kind of confused as yeah. to what's going on here. Well, I, I feel like we've been nothing but confused for the past 15 minutes. No kidding. Honestly. Hey, if anyone's watching, you're like, man, I'm really confused what's happening. Yeah, pretty much. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We apologize. But maybe it's like when you get to the end of a good movie and you're not really sure what the ending meant, but you know you had a good time. Right? Shutter Island. Yeah, and, something like that, maybe. And, well, you know, the important thing was the friends you made along the way um, and, like, what you learned. <laughs> it's about family. Was it Barney here? Or what? Is Barney the dinosaur? I don't know if Barney had this much violence in it, but it would have made it a more interesting show. So Canoosh will limp himself off of the pitch. Yes, which is probably for the best. Like he he has been like he has been all over the field tonight. This is I think this actually I think this is the best I've seen him play That's all true, season, though. which That's is saying true. a lot. Yeah, well and you know, and it's not just about the goal scoring, it's about hustle and contributions and help on defense. Right. I mean it's it's about all of that. In fact this is this is probably one of the best performances. I, I mean, and I know we saw a – God, what was that very first game of the season? It was like 8-0 to zero or something. No, no, it was like 10-0. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, because the previous yeah. one was 8-0. to zero. Yeah. This is them playing at a much higher level than that that's game true. that they yeah. won just like so, so definitively. And it's, and it's pretty good to, to have it going into uh, Look at that, Eamon the playoffs. towards the oh, – oh, 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 that's uh, – May end up being the last yeah, I uh, think play it, right there. We've got uh, oh, he's a oh, there's the ball boy. Hey, clutch! clutch. And here's the referee there helping out. And he's making this happen. Oh, As yeah. he takes that throw in, it takes it towards the flag. Seven seconds. Ooh. I think we can start the celebrations, everyone. Oh my God. Last home game hey. of the season. So, ladies and gentlemen, we had defeat in the ladies' game, but hey, if you stuck around for this men's game, you were treated to a heck of a match overall. Please take a look at Coffeeville 
uh, or I'm sorry, RedRavenAthletics.com as far as for the schedule going forward. And Red Raven Sports Network. Exactly. Just in general. Check us out. Uh, you know, Ryan Butcher, this could possibly be our last match uh, of the season. It really has been a pleasure. Uh, students in the booth as well. You guys always do a great job. Fans, if you've been with us for one match, two matches, however many, we really appreciate you guys being with us. It's special for us to be able to call these games. Uh, and to be able to provide this content for you guys overall. I could keep babbling, but I think it's about time to go home, Ryan Butcher. <laughs> so for all of us up here in the booth, for Dirk Andrews, Ryan Butcher, we are out, O-U-T. Have a great one, guys.